Hi guys, this is Himanshu Jain and in this video I will be explaining the solution of problem B Alien Piano which was asked in round D of Kickstart 2020. I will recommend you to read and try the problem yourself before continuing the video. So I hope you have tried the problem yourself. Basically what the problem says is that we are given an array of k integers and what we have to do is use four values to create another array such that inequality between adjacent elements in the given array should be same as adjacent inequality between adjacent elements of the newly constructed array. What that means is suppose we are given this array and we can only use four values. Let's say we will use these four values. So, so what the question says is that the inequality between adjacent elements that is let's, uh, let's see here 100 is less than 500. This inequality should be same in the given array and in the newly constructed array that is we can use values like 1, 2 in the new array or 0, 3 or 0, 0,1 also. Now you can see inequality is same in all these cases. It will not be always possible to make this inequality same for every adjacent elements. Like for example let's say if we have used 0 here and 5 is less than 100. Now value which we can use here are 0 to 3 which will not be less than 0. So here the condition will violate. So what the question asks is to construct the array in such a way that these violations are minimized. So what we have to print is the minimum violation we can make while creating the new array. So we can use dp to solve this problem. Let's see how we can use dp to solve this problem. Suppose these are the indexes of the given array. What we can do is for every index i, we can try all these values 0, 1. So for every index i, we can try all the value and we will see whether, whether trying this value here violates the condition or not. So how we can do is we can check if in the given array, suppose in the given array, Suppose these are the value in the given array. Now inequality is this. So what we can do is and suppose we have used 0 at i minus 1 and 1 at i at position. Now the inequality is not the same. So number of violation will be incremented here. Now suppose we have used 2 at i minus 1 and suppose at i position we use 0. Now inequality is same here, so nothing will be incremented. We can use this property to solve the problem. Let us see how we can use this property in a formal way. Let us define dp i well as the minimum number of violations till the index i such that at index i we have used to value as well. Basically what that means dp dpi2 will represent the minimum number of violations till index i such that at the index i we have used the value 2. Now how can we calculate dpi well? Suppose at index i we have used value as well. And suppose that at index i minus 1 the value used was j. So what we can do is we can check whether j is less than well. So what we can do is we can check that if the inequality between j and well is same as now we can check is whether the inequality between j and well is same as inequality between array i minus 1 and array i. If the inequalities are same, we do not need to do anything. But if the inequality is not same, the number of violation will be incremented by plus 1. 
and what we can do is for all values 0 to 4 for j we can calculate which j and well will give us the minimum value so let me formulate it so what we can do is for every j for all j between 0 and 3 we will check if array i minus 1 if the inequality between array i minus 1 and array i is same as j and well then it will be simply equal to dp i minus 1 comma j so the value in new array at index i minus 1 and i that are j and well respectively follow the same equality as array i minus 1 and array i so the number of violation will not be increased otherwise otherwise the number of violation will be incremented by one and basically we have to find minimum of this now let's implement it for better understanding okay so this is the in array given to us of size n so what we can what we will do is declare a dp array we will traverse for and we for every index i we will for every index i we will try every possible value from 0 to 3 now if we are at the starting index we can put any value and every value will satisfy so there will be no violation in putting any value so the answer will be simply dpi will be dpi will be equal to 0 otherwise for every j from 0 to 4 j is the value used at previous index that is at index i minus 1 we will use answer let's declare answer with a relatively high number now we will check if the inequality between array i minus 1 and array i is same as j and well now let us check this for now let us check this for both smaller and equal to also now if inequality between array i minus 1 and array i and the j and well is same we do not need to increment the number of violation then dp answer will be equal to minimum of answer we do not need to increment the number of violation here otherwise number of violation will be incremented and total number of violation at dp ith position will be the minimum among all of them finally we will return the value now finally we have to check which value at the last index will give us the minimum result so let us check that which value at last index will give us the minimum so our last index will be dpn minus 1 which value at last index will give us the minimum number of violations let us run this here ok there are few variable errors ok so we are getting right answer here let us check here also This is my submission during competition.
I first tried a GD approach and then realized it wouldn't work. Then I shifted to the DP approach. It is accepted. So I hope you understood the problem. Since this is my first video, if you think anything can be improved, feel free to comment. Till then, code hard.